For Action News, I'm Anna Samovska. Every so often we come across something so blatantly wrong, it has to be debunked. And that's exactly what Action's Dr. Josh Bloom does in his recent op-ed published in Science 2.0. Dr. Bloom challenges claims that the FDA is sexist when it comes to treatments and medication for female sexual dysfunction. The Huffington Post piece claims the FDA has approved 24 treatments for sexual dysfunction in males and zero for women. A claim so bold it has to be true, right? Wrong. Here's Dr. Josh Bloom with more. The first I heard about it was an op-ed on, on HuffPo by Anita Clayton, who's uh, OBGYN at the University of Virginia Medical School. And she writes uh, a very odd piece where she claims that the FDA is sexist because there are 24 drugs for male sexual dysfunction and zero for female sexual dysfunction. She may be a wonderful obstetrician, but she's a terrible mathematician because if you look at how she does her count, she's counting the same drug with multiple names. For instance, the brand name and several generic names or several brand names as different drugs. Right away, that's plain wrong. So if you go through that, the number goes from 24 to 5. Well, the math is the least of her problem. It's her logic that I have a problem with. In that, somehow, because there is a discrepancy in the number of drugs for men and for women, this somehow constitutes uh, a sexist position by the FDA. And this is just purely ridiculous. Uh, first of all, we're talking about two completely different conditions. The uh, male uh, sexual dysfunction is primarily vascular. So uh, if you can find a drug that deals with the vascular problem, and that's, the, the, that's how the working drugs do work, then you've corrected a physiological deficiency in men. Uh, and to equate this with uh, female sexual dysfunction, which is basically loss of sexual desire, uh, makes no sense. There's completely different conditions. Uh, there's no real single cause for it. Uh, there are different components, psychological, hormonal, biochemical, and probably a whole bunch of others. So uh, you can't even compare the two. Um, it just doesn't make any sense. Just because different disease areas have different outcomes means nothing about politics or sexism whatsoever. It's just that some things are more difficult than others. And an example is... Uh, if you uh, look at childhood leukemia, there's some great drugs with 100% cure rates. If you look at Alzheimer's, there are no good drugs and everybody dies from it. So does this, um, is this discrimination against older people in favor of younger people? No, of course it isn't. And it, you know, it's totally illogical to make that statement. And it's just as illogical to make her statement. To read Dr. Bloom's full op-ed, you can head to our website, aksha.org. That's acsh.org. While you're there, don't forget to also sign up for your daily dose of news delivered right to your inbox. For Aksha, I'm Anna Samovska.